Welcome back. Guess what? Culture Fest is coming up on September 30th on Historic Commercial Street. Joining us now with all the details is Mitch Brashears. So good to see you. So How are you to doing? Be here. I'm doing wonderfully. Thank you for having me this morning. Can you believe it's already time for Culture Fest again? Uh, once again, just. Uh, the time just flies. Time, it does fly. Yes. So what can people expect uh, this year? Well, we have a wonderful, wonderful setup this year. Uh, we have uh, over, you know, if you're familiar with it, we close off a bit of C Street. Uh, so it's a couple of blocks down Commercial Street from Jefferson to Robertson. And so we integrate not only uh, a lot of different uh, ethnicities and countries in our area, but also with the uh, C Street City Market. So we've got 40 vendors from there. We've got about 50 vendors that are coming in as well from representing about 20 different countries. We've got live performances, dance, song. We've got artisans. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful day. Wow. Okay. Over 20 countries, 50 vendors coming in. That's and right. Are they coming in from all over the world or just all over the, the country? They're coming in from all over our area. That's the area. whole point. Yeah, we oh, want to have that okay. whole Ozarks area, all the different ethnicities and all the different countries that are here, all the different people are coming in, and it's going to be, it's going to be a neat event. So, Mitch, how many years have you been doing this, and what was the catalyst to start Culture Fest? So, uh, it's the International, uh, International Institute of Southwest Missouri, which is where I work, and then we partner with the uh, C Street City Market to host this. So, uh, our parent uh, organization, which is the International Institute of St. Louis, Missouri, has been doing Festival of Nations for uh, decades now. It's just a huge event. Uh, they just did it a couple of weeks ago. So, we wanted to recreate that sort of spirit and, uh, and uh, integration here in the Ozarks. So, that was kind of the impetus for bringing that into this area. Mm. I love that. And is Culture Fest family friendly? Oh, it's extremely I would family. Assume. Okay. Absolutely. We have a small children's section as well. They'll be doing story time at the top of each hour from the libraries coming in. We've got masks for painting. It's going to be a neat, a neat event for the whole family. Okay. Can you keep going with what people can do? Because I think some people might go, well, do you just walk around? Can you sample things? Are there brochures? Like, what, what all can people partake in once they're there? All that and more. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we have plenty of people that are coming in to, for, to uh, represent their uh, businesses. So, we have a lot of food vendors that are coming through. So, different, different flavors of foods from different parts of the world. Uh, we have a lot of artists that are coming in for crafts and wares to do. I think there's a henna person there. So there's a lot of different oh. things to participate and a lot of children's things to participate in with as well. Mm -hmm. And year after year, is there like a common thing that is your favorite or does it change every year, like your favorite part about Culture Fest from year to year? You know, for me personally, it's always the performers. I love all the music performers, the dancing performers. That's what really drives a lot of things in. And it really, it's a very uh, visceral and very present sort of way to express your culture. So that's probably my favorite is the, the big stage and the big performances. Could you tell our viewers a little bit about the different cultural representation here in the Ozarks? Because I was just, it's funny you're here today, I was just having this conversation with a friend of mine at Senior Julian's Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. He was talking about the Hispanic culture mm -hmm. here in Missouri. Uh, and I was fascinated by that. So give us an example of some of the cultures that will be represented. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, around 20 different uh, places that are coming in. We have uh, Italian, we have uh, Lebanese, we have uh, Cuban, we have uh, uh, Afghan, we have just all different parts of the world. It's really kind of a neat uh, conglomerate of different, of different places and different people. Mm -hmm. And are there any certain goals for this year's Culture Fest or just to, to bring in more of the community? And That's you know. it, exactly. It's just to build that awareness and to know that there are so many different flavors of the Ozarks. You know, sometimes we think we're very homogenized here. Uh, you know, I'm an old Missouri boy and I've been here since Missouri State University had an extra S on it. Uh, <laughs> so we've seen a lot of different changes, obviously, right through the years. So uh, some people can be a little surprised about just how rich and diverse our particular area of the country is. Mm -hmm. I think you kind of know the locals if they say SMS. Yes. You yes. know what they're talking about. I know about. where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. My alma mater right there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have a sweatshirt from a viewer from that SMS. Anyway, uh, so what time does it start? Where can people go? And do you have to get tickets for it? How does that, that all work for Culture Fest? Completely free event. It's 10 a.m. into 4 p.m. Uh, on Saturday, September 30th. Uh, so everybody's welcome. There's parking all the way around. We'll have volunteers out to help direct parking around to wherever the people need to go. Uh, but it's just a come and go sort of thing. And we'll, it's, it's going to be a really a wonderful event. Mm. I was curious when you were talking about the, the, the music, the dancing, the performances. Do you know what kind of perform performative dance is going to be there? Is it? Sure. Yeah, we've got different things. So we've got uh, things their local uh, favorite uh, local favorites like the Kilties are coming through. We've got a K-pop group coming through. Uh -huh. We've got the Central Step team coming in here. We've got uh, Native American dancers. We've got a variety. Of, just just it's just a really nice mix and conglomeration of different of different uh, ethnicities. And when I think of different cultures, I think of different foods. Mm -hmm. Would there be time to sample some foods from other cultures? Oh, so many delicious foods from different cultures. Yes. Because, yeah. We have probably uh, 15 or 20 different food vendors that are coming in. So again, uh, Italian and Lebanese and Cuban, uh, Haitian, some African, Jamaican. And there's just a just a great mix of different foods. 
Now, given that it is free entry, mm -hmm. but at the the vendor stations, will that be you know you pay yes, for? Okay, yes, got it. Yes, Very yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be great. I'm hungry now. I, <laughs> you're always hungry, Jeremy. I know, <laughs> but I love trying different foods and trying different things, and and just learning about the cultural representation here in the Ozarks is amazing. Because I'm always fascinated how people get here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm from Texas, but again, I'm here in Missouri. Like how people wind up here, it's it's so educational and fascinating. Mm -hmm. So one more time, all the details for September 30th. September 30th from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Free event. Bring the kids. Family Family friendly, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome. On Historic C Street. On downtown. Historic C Street, that's yes. correct. And not only are you gonna have fun, but you're gonna learn something. And it's great when you can bring the kids and have them learn without knowing they're learning something. Because Definitely. They're, they're sponges. Yes. That's right. And if they like some, you know, if the dance kind of intrigues them, like then maybe they're gonna go down that path that's of right. just learning more about that culture. Who knows where it goes and where it goes and where it goes. Yes. Exactly. The butterfly effect. Yes, there it goes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you, much. Thank you for having me. Of course. All right, don't go anywhere. Our good friend Paula Mason will be in to talk about women in need of the Ozarks and their big 20th anniversary. Now I'm hungry.